told him, if I order an everything bagel, I want everything on it. Juniper berries, mustache hair of Martin Lawrence, angel baby's pacifier. Water balloons? Yes, yes. Hey guys, check out my new Terminator sunglasses. Nice. 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 Water balloons. Nice. 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 Thanks, guys. Let's go learn about the ice planet. Man, those sunglasses are cool. Thanks. I just wish I had like a cool hat or shirt or something. Something to complete the look. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a store or mall around here somewhere. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Roberta, are there any places around here that are, like, really cool? Let me think about it. Although it's not exactly around here, a really cool place would be OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB. What? That sounds like the name of my Wi-Fi. It's the coldest exoplanet ever discovered. Meet OGLE 2005 BLG 390LB, an exoplanet located in 2005 in the Scorpius constellation towards the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Although this may sound close, it's incredibly far away from us. It's about 25,000 light years away from Earth. That's equal to about 147 quadrillion miles. That's a distance equal to about 6 trillion trips around the Earth at the equator. That means that if you traveled at 500 miles per hour to get there, it would take you over 33 billion years to reach it. Listen, I don't care how far away it is. If it increases my coolness, we have to go. Nice! How long will it take us to get there? Nothing too bad. Just about 247 billion days. Nice! 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 247 billion days later. Nice! Ooh, we're here! Wait a second. We asked for somewhere cool. Not that kind of cool. Yeah. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Oh, I don't know. You're just an all-knowing super robot that's the only serious person in these videos. Now I'm freezing my butt off. Oh, no. What butt? You're a puppet. Yeah. Fine. The guy whose hand is controlling me is freezing his butt off. What? And my nose is turning blue. Andy, your nose changes colors constantly in every video. Just relax. Maybe this planet will have all the cool stuff we're looking for. Plus, like, a jacket or something. Meh, it's worth a shot. Go ahead and blast this bad boy. Let's see what he's got. Here goes nothing. Ahoy hoy. What? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Ice Planet. Steven, who is this sunglass-wearing yuppie? Mr. DeMeo, sir. DeMeo, eh? I'll remember that name. Wait a second. Steve, you know this guy? Of course he does. I taught him everything he knows. Well, that isn't a whole lot. He can barely count. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Here, I'll prove it. What number comes after 12? Easy. Ketchup. See? Excellent. Just like I taught him. What? Ketchup isn't even a number. You're not even a number. <laughs> you there, Sideburns. What's your name? Mr. DeMeo. DeMeo, eh? I heard that you're looking for something cool. Yeah. Well, it just so happens I'm cooler than Cab Calloway during the winter solstice. What? If that's the case, would you mind telling us why you're so cool? Why, of course. I'm cold. Reaching temperatures of about negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason I'm so cold is because I'm incredibly far away from my host star, reaching distances up to 300 million miles away from it. I am so far from my sun that it takes me a long time to go around it. One year on me is equal to just under 10 years on Earth. Being so far away helps to make me cool, but the type of star I orbit plays a huge part too. My star is likely a red dwarf. These stars are not nearly as hot as your sun and are somewhat dim, which would help to make me so cold. I'm two times more massive than Earth 
and more than double the size of Earth 2, measuring about an estimated 17,000 miles across. Due to my large mass, I am what is known as a super-Earth, meaning my mass is greater than Earth's, but less than that of Uranus and Neptune. It is thought that I have a thin atmosphere, like the Earth, but with a rocky surface that is probably deeply buried beneath frozen oceans. Therefore, it is believed that I resemble a more massive Pluto. But there are those that believe I am not rocky, and instead resemble a much smaller Uranus. You know, this is cool. Even though this planet wasn't the exact kind of cool we were looking for, I still thought it was pretty cool. I just said cool 57 times. Yeah. I can't wait to go home and tell everyone about him. Yeah. Hey, maybe we can name him after my Terminator sunglasses. Nice. Nice. Oh, well. It was nice meeting you, Ice Planet. I can't wait to tell the whole world about you. Let's go, guys. No. Nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching. In case you didn't know, you can get a special video from Steve or Andy on Cameo. If it's your birthday, a congratulations video, or just one for a special reason, you can have a video recorded by Steve and Andy and sent to you. So check the description box for a link. Now I gotta thank my awesome, incredible patrons on Patreon who helped me pick this topic. Especially the Rivard Boys, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Hannah Y. Xavier Freeze, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Jaden, Danny, and Beeks, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney, and Brian, Stephen McPhee, Charles and Olivia, Creative Devin and Zach T, Harper Benson, Miller Daniel and his mom Jennifer, Lennon McCotton and Jones Page, Avalon and Cash, Burning Wick, Amelia Silva, Kate and Sarah, Virginia and Harrison Way, Jack Martin and Everett Ryan, the Puffin Boys, Elias Mark Turner, Jasper Soros Rex, Millie Fennel, Connor Lecoque and Family, Julie Sanchez, Alexander, Julian and David, Edward, Mr. Fast and Mr. Red, GC, Toothless and Light Fury, Max and Kaz, Elijah Robert, The Gauker Family, Mika, Jordan and Maya, Luke Raposa, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Oshi, Mabel and Graham, Asher Evans, Erickson and Alexander L, Jack Hartzler, Lillian and Davis Sozin, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Gavin Meidel, Henry Pavelko, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Ben and Ollie, Chris the Megalodon, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Julian and Joseph Pierce, JJ Schmidt, Greg Matlock, Witten Cruz and Reese Miller, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Connor Higgins, Jakey Jake, Madison H, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Sam and Eddie from London, Zane and Asher Davis, Charlie Stone, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Sammy Osif, JJ Castro, Dominic McAvee, Cosette, Minx, Mavis, and Enzo, Connor and Emma B, Christopher F, Max from South Hall, Phoenix Cooley, Benjamin M, John Arthur, Callum G, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Rebecca Beanie, Kuchan115, Evan Lee, Jordana and Aaron, Beatrice Ballar, Philip and Anna Buckley, Wesley C, Max C, Lily, Annabelle, Thomas and Everett, Zen, Onyx and Sky, The Greens, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Ian, Parker and Braylon Callis, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Liam and Evelina, Victor B from Canada, Nathan and Ava C, Ada S, and Riker Smith. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. There's a link in the description box too. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Now let's do some fan art. I got this one from Sebastian in New Jersey. He drew the watch child from my Nightmare Planet video. Very cool. I got this one from a fan in Eureka, California. I lost your name, I'm sorry, but I love your picture. And I got this one from Matthew in Ireland. He drew pretty much everybody. Love it. I got this cool anime style picture of me, Steve, and Andy from Hannah in Florida. Thank you, Hannah. And I got this cool picture from Romy in Connecticut. Very cool. Got a nice note from her mom. Thank you, mom. And I got this cool picture of Iguana Greg and a bunch of others from James in California. Thank you, James. And this awesome picture of pretty much everybody from Emma in Idaho. Thank you, Emma. Do you want to get your picture in my next video? 
will send it my way to Mr. DeMeo, P.O. Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735. Thanks for watching, guys.